<clears throat> What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Hope you all having a great day so far today. The weekend is finally upon us. Um, getting into this episode of GH, this was a pretty, uh, uh, some parts of it was pretty emotional. Um, but it, I, I liked it. Overall, I liked this episode. Um, I feel like Portia... <clears throat> I feel like Portia is being naive when it comes to uh, Marshall. I think she's being very naive about this. Like, she's trying to encourage or at least see if Curtis would allow Marshall in his life to make up for lost time and, you know, try to, you know, be a, a family, you know, with him. Curtis is not feeling it. He's not. And I, I, I got to be on Curtis's side on this because at the end of the day, this man has been gone for 40, 40 years. Nobody knows where he's been, what he's been doing, who he's been doing it with. Nobody knows nothing about this cat. You know, and then on top of that, he claims that, oh, it was dangerous. He had to leave. And so and he claims that the danger is still lingering around. So Curtis needs to look into this. And I'm glad that he called Drew, you know, for backup on this and stuff like that. And Drew agreed to do it or whatever. Um, to help find out what Marshall was up to back in the day. It's precaution. I would be doing the same damn thing. I'm not about to let this man who's been gone 40 plus years back into my life. And and I don't know what he was doing. You know, and we could be targets and stuff like that. No, I need to know who he's been dealing with. And why they wanted him dead or whatever. You know, what mess he got himself into. I would want to know. I can't fault Curtis for that. He's thinking with his head, you know. Not really his heart. Because you can't. Not in this situation. Um, I want to know what the hell is Stella hiding? That's what I want to know. Like, what is she hiding? Because uh, Marshall was saying something about, oh, your secret is safe with me. What secret? Inquiring minds want to know, what secret are you hiding? And I agree. I mean, it could be that she's really, you know, Curtis and Thomas's mother or whatever. It could be. You know, you never know, but she hiding something, and it's obviously a secret that she's been holding on to for decades, so I want to know what it is. Um, so now we get some clarity on the situation. We're learning more about what may have happened back then. Not too much, but I was under the impression that uh, Curtis's mother didn't know. So apparently, Curtis's mother knew that um, Marshall faked his death. And she didn't tell Stella about it until later. That was a shocker to me because it was always I was always under the impression that she never got over him leaving or that's what caused her death or whatever. Um, and that's why Stella had to take over raising the boys. Um, so apparently she knew. Um, and Marshall is pretty much hoping that you know, he can reunite the family and him and Curtis could be cool. But he also wants at, at, you know, for the time being, he wants Stella's help to, uh, you know, get a closer relationship to TJ at the very least. Um, they need to figure that out. Cause I don't trust this dude at all. Like, what is he hiding? Like, what the hell was he into back in the day? Had to be something, had to be, had to be something real dangerous but to keep you away for 40 years. Had to be something. Couldn't be just no deadbeat dad shit. Like, it couldn't be that. So, anyway, moving on from that. um, I felt bad for Drew. I really did. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. I felt real bad for Drew. You know, like, he's really trying to forge a connection with his daughter. And it's like, Scout was not interested at first. You know, he was hoping to do some shopping online with her to pick out some ornaments for the little tree that he put up in the kitchen. Um, but she wasn't here for it. The only person she wanted to see pretty much at that point was Monica. Um, it's going to take some time for her to come around. It looked like by the end of the episode, she was starting to come around. Um, she had found one of Drew's old favorite ornaments or whatever. And, you know, he picked her up so she could put it on the tree and stuff. And I thought that was a nice moment. I think it's going to take a little time. You know, Drew was gone for quite some time. It's going to take a minute, you know, to get, you know, that connection and stuff. It's going to take some time, but he'll get it. He definitely will, especially when you're dealing with kids, you know. She'll come around fully. Just got to let it happen. Um. So, anyway, moving on from that. 
I am so glad that Olivia finally put her big girl pants on and her and Ned are finally taking this boy to go see a specialist to run some tests. Um, it's a step in the right direction. It, it, it's about time because we've been waiting on this to happen for quite some time. Um, so, you know, Dr. Newman, I guess his name is, he was running some tests or whatever. And he basically told them to make an appointment to come back, you know, for a follow up and stuff like that so they can get a much more clearer picture. I'm glad because, you know, it, it, it needed to be done. I'm glad she's not fighting that shit no more because it wasn't no need to fight it. Like, your husband is here. He's by your side. Let him be by your side and let him be there for you. Stop with the foolishness. And I'm glad she's starting to realize that. Um. So, anyway, moving on from that. I'm going to tell you right now. I actually like the scene when Carly and Olivia walked up on Sonny and Nina. That scene was funny as hell. And Olivia, she thought she was tough. She was like, oh, I got this. I, I, I can handle this. You know, she tried to get all bent in her son, Nina. And, you know, basically trying to tell Nina to back off or whatever. And she lucky that she just saved her from Carly whooping her ass, basically. And that she need to lay off. Now, I'm here for Olivia having her friends back. You know what I'm saying? Because that's loyalty. That's friendship. I respect it. But I'm not going to lie. I was actually laughing my ass off with Nina's response. When Nina basically told her that instead of focusing on Carly and Sonny's marriage, she need to pay attention to her own marriage. And I love how she just said that and walked away. Olivia ain't had shit to say. <laughs> I loved it. I freaking loved it. You know, yeah, Nina still pissed me off sometimes, but her clap back was good. I ain't even going to lie to you. It was good. And I agree. You know, like I said, Olivia was trying to be a friend, but at the same time, Nina was right. Your marriage ain't great right about now. You know, y'all trying to get your marriage back on track. That's where you need to focus. Let Carly handle her own damn business. And you know what? Carly was being real mature about it today. Like, she was not even thinking about Nina. She didn't want to think about Nina. You know what I'm saying? All she was there for was Sasha and Brando and to be a support system. I respect that. I said, okay, look at Carly trying to evolve. Because, you know, normally Carly would have been all up in her face ready to put her foot in her ass. But she, you know, she backed away. She was like, that's not what I'm here for. I'm not going to do that with her today. I respect Carly for that. It's about time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to know when to pick your battles. Like, you got to know places and times. That was not the place nor the time for her and Nina to get into another bitch fight. Another catty old, you know, session. It was not the place and time. It really wasn't. It's something more bigger going on than the two of them. So I'm glad they put that behind them for the moment. And, you know, they just ignored each other as they as they should. You know, Carly shouldn't say nothing to her right about now because y'all are there for Sasha and Brando. That's it. I ain't going to lie to you. I do agree with Elizabeth. I mean, life is so unfair because Peter is still living while a child, an innocent child, is about to die. I agree with her. The shit, you know, really ain't fair. But, you know, that's life. You know, life is not fair. So it's like, what are you going to do? Um, But you could tell. By the way Elizabeth be talking, she ready to take Peter the fuck out. Like, she's ready to take him down. Um... But like I said before, it's good that Finn stopped her when he did because she would have just lost her mind and stabbed him or something. She would have definitely went Lorena Bobbin on his ass. <laughs> Thank God he got there in time. Um. So anyway, I felt super bad for Sasha and Brando. I really did. Because it's not easy for them to say goodbye to their only child, their firstborn. You know, and they got to say goodbye to him. You know, I felt bad for her. But, you know, Sasha showed amazing strength um, throughout that ordeal, you know, until, you know, towards the end when she just felt like she had to break down in front of everybody. That was such a sad ass scene when everybody was standing at the nurse's station and stuff or wherever. And um, Sasha and Brando came up and stuff. She just couldn't hold it in no more. She had to just break down and let it go. And I felt bad for her. But at least she got to hold her son you know, and stuff like that. Her and Brando made this decision together. It was the right decision to make. Um, I did like the scene where Mike's spirit, you know, 
took the baby and stuff and was leading the baby off to heaven. I like that scene. I think that was a well done scene. It was a beautiful scene. It was an emotional scene. Um, especially the ending when Marshall was playing his little clarinet or whatever, that little sad little song or whatever. <laughs> but um, it it was the right thing for the occasion, you know. I felt real bad for them. Like, I really wonder what's next for Sasha and Brando after this. You know, like, what's going to happen with them? Something tells me, I don't know, Brando might just take that job with Sonny as his new, you know, number two. You know, this might have pushed him into doing it. I don't know. You can tell by certain facial expressions he made. I think this is really going to hit him hard, as it should. You know what I mean? But it's going to be a while before they heal from this mess. But um, anyway... Hit the comment section. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. I will see you all later. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. I'll see you all Monday. Peace.